one piece of cedar, one piece of pine, one piece of oak. We're going to take the blue rhino bottle full of propane and a good old flamethrower. Next step is to burn the wood. Next thing you do is take your wire brush, brush with the grain. Do each board the same. The harder you wire brush it, the deeper you go into the grains, the more grain patterns or figures you're going to see. You can use a, a die grinder with a, a brush on the end of it. Sometimes I do that as well. This require, requires a little elbow grease. But the end results will be about the same. Now we're going to move over to the pine. First one was uh, cedar. All you're trying to do is get all the loose burned up material out of the main grains of the wood. Yes, you'll get a little nasty, but the rewards will be worth it. Now this is the, the oak. This oak is kind of split in the middle anyway. Just an old piece of trash of wood I had, I wanted to see what would happen. Stand me if I'm correct, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this was actually post oak on the log that I cut down, slabbed up on the sawmill, the homemade sawmill I got. I think out of all three of these, the pine, the cedar, and the oak, 
I'm gonna have the prettiest board is gonna be the actual pine. Give me a, give me a moment, let me grab me a little brush, I'll be right back. You can blow knock them off with the, the brush. Gonna get the air gone. You don't have to have an air gun, you can just brush them off. Okay, that's what you're gonna get once you burn them. So this is cedar, this is pine, this is oak. Oak looks the ugliest to me at this point. Next step, we're gonna go in there and put some kind of a coating on them. Okay guys, I might have said the last part of this other last part of that video that you just saw that the next step is to put a finish on it. Well it's not it's not and I am incorrect. Our next step is to actually sand this down. And I've already taken a, a little step ahead and I've sanded this section of the pine, this section of the cedar, and this section of the oak. Now all I did was take a a bower polishing sander from Harbor Freight Tools which is actually a pretty good tool and I'm not endorsed by them but I've got to say it's a pretty good tool I just don't like the way the the exhaust comes out of it because it seems to blow I'm right handed when I hold it like this it blows the dust right back in my face but uh, all I did is put some 100 grit sandpaper on there and start polishing it up Keep in mind, the more you polish, the pattern is going to change drastically. Something else I might note is when you're polishing or you're sanding, try to run with the grain as much as possible. In other words, hold it up like this, not on this angle where you're cutting across back and forth like this way. Try to go this way with it if possible. Next step is you're going to take something and clean it off. You can actually use a brush. I'm not sure if you could hear me. You can actually use a brush like this or anything similar, or like I do, compressed air. At this point, I think y'all would all agree with me that the, the pine board is going to be the prettiest. Now, I'm not going to put some exotic finish on it. I'm just going to take some probably polyurethane and I'm going to grab that and figure out what brand. And I'll, I'll tell you what brand I'm going to use on it. You see how I went really heavy on this side here? I want to see how this is going to turn out versus this other section of the board. This is the, the cedar. Pretty easy to distinguish. Of course, this is the old hard, rough, rough post oak. Let me get the, the finish and stain. Everything Now you're probably going to see many other videos out there on YouTube doing the same or similar similar things that we're doing right here. But they're all probably using some kind of different finish on it. And I don't want to get in depth on finishing because all finishing products are different. No two of them are exactly the same. And you can also color these boards with a tinted colors or similar products 
But for the purpose of this video, all we're going to be using is what you see here, Varathane. Varathane Ultimate Polyurethane. We're going to start with the cedar first. I'm not even going to put any kind of what I call hard, hardcore stain on it. Just brush that stuff on there and let it dry. Something I do like about the Varathane Ultimate Polyurethane, and this is an oil base, semi-gloss, is that it dries super quick compared to most products that I've used on any of my woodworking projects. And you can put it on there kind of pretty heavy if you want to. It, it normally, this product normally flows out very well. And the finishing, the finishes of this product is usually astonishing. I've been in the woodworking business for quite some time, doing projects on and off, and I've used a lot of different polyurethanes. And I recently found this one here six, seven months ago, and it seems to be a really good product that I'm pretty pleased with. I'll try to keep this video as short as possible to keep boredom from sitting in. And I know it's not the most professional video but I think it gets the point over. And I think some of you may enjoy it. I'm sure I'll get a lot of negative and positive points sent back to me. But we're not a million dollar corporation out there that does this for a living. We're just a mom and pop operation out here in a thick forest of East Texas, a piney woods deep forest. The cedar seems to be soaking it up the fastest. And I can understand why it's a really a soft wood. The oak is the hardest, and then the pine would be second in line. Well, there's nothing exotic about it, but it does look pretty nice. Kind of through the viewing of the camera, it looks like it kind of turned it purple. But actually it didn't. It's a dark, dark brown. So this is the oak. And that old oak is all split and cracked up. Just a junk piece of lumber. Now we're going to the cedar. Now we're going to the pine. Now the appearance is probably going to change once this polyurethane cures. I'll make a couple more videos, but I'm going to use some different type of finish on them. Maybe something that'll add a little color to them, or change the color that we got into this one. But I'm sure you'll agree that number three, the one on the far right, the pine, looks the nicest. And I imagine that's because the grain patterns pop out quite a bit more. The softer material, you was able to brush out with a wire brush, and it left a lot of nice ribbon in it. So there were some really cool designs into that piece. The cedar is okay. The oak, mm, I don't know. I just don't like it. It's just an old rough, rustic look. Well, guys, I hope the video shed some light on this situation. I know they call this some shoogie shoeshine or something. I don't know what it's called, but it's a, 
I think you see a lot of videos out there on YouTube where they're, they're telling you some kind of Japanese technique. But it's just a technique that I've been using for quite some time. Well, thanks for watching. Hit the like, subscribe button if we've helped you in any form or fashion. So you, once you hit the subscribe button, we'll tune you into our future videos. Thanks again.